What should I do when my dishwasher shows the water tap error light? When the water tap error warning light shows, firstly turn off and unplug your dishwasher. The first step is to pull out the dishwasher and check that the hoses behind the appliance are not trapped or kinked. If the dishwasher is built in, you will need to access the cupboard from the side. If you're not sure how to do that, please follow the mounting and installation instructions of the dishwasher. When replacing the dishwasher, pull on the hoses as you push the dishwasher back into position so that they are not trapped because this will restrict the water flow. As a second step, you will also need to double check that the water supply is turned on and functioning correctly. Check if the water tap can be easily turned on and off as shown. You will also need to check your water supply to the appliance, which should be 10 litres per minute. Turn off the water supply by twisting clockwise. Remove the inlet hose by using a towel as shown. Then check there is no water still flowing. Place a bucket under the water supply and turn fully on the water. Once you have checked the tap is running at 10 litres per minute, turn it off, reattach the hose and turn the supply back on. Please note that some older taps can cause this error when a dishwasher is installed because no water is flowing even when the tap position appears to be on as the mechanism has not engaged. Always check for leaks afterwards. The third step is to clean the detachable filter in your inlet hose. The two different types of hose we use in our dishwashers are shown. In both cases, the filter is removed using, for example, a pair of needle pliers very carefully you will need to pull fairly hard to detach it. You can now clean the filter under the tap. The filter should be securely reattached to the hose using the pliers ensuring it is fully and securely pressed in. Hold it in the middle and not the side to avoid damaging the filter. For step 4, check the drainage of the appliance, which is usually via a spigot which connects the appliance to the drainage system. Check that the end of the spigot has been cut off during installation and the blocking plug inside has been removed. Unscrew the collar, detach the hose and check it is not blocked by any residues. Then unscrew the spigot and also check that this isn't blocked. Reattach the spigot securely and then the hose, ensuring it is tightly connected using the collar. The fifth and final check you need to make is the wastewater pump, which may be blocked and causing the error. It is located below the filter inside the dishwasher near to the lower spray arm. Unscrew and remove the filter unit from the base of the dishwasher. Please use protective gloves as sharp objects such as glass fragments can collect in the pump area. Use a teaspoon to unclip the pump cover which can be then pulled out and lifted away. Then check the pump area and remove any objects which might be preventing the pump impeller from rotating. Finally, check that the pump impeller can turn freely and all obstructions are removed. The pump cover has to be replaced and clicked back into position. You will hear a click sound when it's secure. Replace the filter unit and twist clockwise to ensure the marker and the arrow line up and the cover is properly engaged. You can then plug in, turn on and use the appliance. Test it using the pre-wash program. Please check and follow these steps. If you need further information, please refer to the instruction manual. To find out more about our cleaning and care products or to arrange an engineer visit, please visit the Bosch Home Appliances website.